Hey everybody, it's Charles from HumbleMechanic.com and today we're taking a look at the Eurowise 1.8 Turbo Flange Kit. All right, if you own a Mark IV 1.8 Turbo or an Audi TT 1.8 Turbo, you probably know the pains of coolant leaks. I've experienced on multiple occasions where the OEM plastic coolant junctions get weak, get brittle, and it seems like you just look at them the wrong way and they break. Now, of course, that's when the coolant's piping hot and you get a geyser of coolant shooting out of the hose. The folks at Eurowise have developed a kit in order to overcome putting those same plastic pieces back on your car. The kit comes with a coolant flange that bolts to the cylinder head, the gasket and bolts, a thermostat housing as well as the seal, and two different coolant junctions. Now, I've broken both of these coolant junctions before. Typically on this radiator side, this is the piece that breaks, and on the Y-pipe, it could be any number of these connections. Oftentimes, oil leaks can actually make these coolant leaks happen faster. What will happen is oil from the valve cover or from the cam adjuster will leak down onto the coolant flanges, cause the plastic to get weak and brittle, or cause the seal to swell. And that'll actually create more coolant leaks. So if you're replacing these, make sure you also don't have any oil leaks that need to be addressed as well. I mocked up the two that bolt to the engine on an engine that was on the stand. Now, before you put these on, you wanna make sure you clean these surfaces really, really well. Don't install them on a surface that looks like this. The only thing different about these versus the OEM ones is that the OEM ones on the coolant flange, they use a rubber seal here, this one uses a paper gasket, so it's a flush mount surface. You may remember a while back, I installed the VR6 version of this kit on the white Wookiee. It's actually off the car right now, but when we put the engine back together, that's going to be reinstalled. The price point comes in at 129 bucks, which may be a little bit more expensive than just replacing it with the plastic pieces, but remember, these pieces aren't gonna get brittle. They're not gonna swell up. They're not going to be affected by oil leaks. On these, you simply replace the seal instead of the seal and the entire housing. This is also a great time to go ahead and replace the coolant temperature sensor since you're gonna have it out anyway, and those have become almost a maintenance part. If you're removing the thermostat, go ahead and throw a new one in as well, and this is a perfect opportunity to flush any old coolant out and fill your vehicle with fresh, clean coolant. So there you go. Like I said, in the kit, you get the four pieces, bolts, and two gaskets. And one final thing, these are great because you can actually match or accent color these in your engine compartment. On the one I installed on my VR6, I painted it white, which truth be told was probably the wrong color to paint because by the time I had it all installed in the car, believe it or not, it was dirty. But you can paint or powder coat these to match whatever you'd like to match underneath the hood of your car. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Questions, comments, you know what to do. Hey, if you like the video, throw it a thumbs up on YouTube. I always appreciate that. You can also subscribe on YouTube or on the blog at HumbleMechanic.com. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on Snapchat. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.